Alrighty guys, I hope everyone is having a great and wonderful day today. You know, right now I'm coming down from the mountains. Um, it was really nice coming up here. And I really wanted to talk about something important that happened to me the other day that may, well, I don't know, it may have scared other people, but for me personally, guys, I already knew as part of the experience of working with Moldavite and things that Moldavite does for you, um, basically because, you know, I know that ever since I've started working with Moldavite, it has been taking me on a journey of just massive purging, right? Massive purging, whether it's mental, whether it's physical, whether it's spiritual, um, you go through this journey of just massive purification so that you can go up to a higher level. And so what I really wanted to share in this video is that the other day, I literally felt like I was having a heart attack. And I knew it wasn't a heart attack because I know myself. Like when you get to know who you are, your body, your mind, you know, just who you are, when you spent years, you know, in somewhat isolation and getting to know who you are, you know what's going on inside your body, right? You become very attuned to what's happening. Um, you're very aware and so what ended up happening the other day guys was that I was reading I was studying for one of my classes and all of a sudden you know I had the Moldavite near my heart and um, as I had it near my heart I literally felt my heart palpitations palpitations right um, start to increase and it felt like it was someone was just punching and jabbing at my heart and at the same time, a lot of old memories started to come to the surface, like certain things that I was doing, just boom, something just clicked. And I was like, oh my gosh, like I'm releasing something major, major right now. And I had to stop, you know, I had to put my book down. I had to, I had to stop reading. Um, I literally lay down on the bed and I was like, I need to, you know, I need to just lay down for a second. You know, it literally felt like I was having a heart attack. Um, I think my mind just created the fact that like my left side felt like it was going numb. I felt like, you know, just like my left arm was going numb. I'm like, no, I'm just making this up in my head. And um, I'm like, I'm not gonna pass out. I don't feel like I'm going to pass out, but it felt, it got really intense guys, where I felt like I was going to have a heart attack, but I knew in my heart that it was, that wasn't it. Um, I knew I was going through a major, major, major release where it was now I was feeling the physical impact of that release and you know I know this because I know my body I know you know I take care of myself I, I work out on a regular basis I eat healthy so I know it wasn't anything that like had to really do with anything with my body I was just releasing something major in my life and this happened for about I don't know maybe 10 15 minutes where I had to lay down I couldn't do anything, right? I literally felt like my heart was just about to explode inside my chest. I, I believe my mind was just making up all these things that like my left side was going numb, even though it wasn't. Um, it was just something that my mind was kind of just projecting. And so what I ended up doing was just relaxing. I quickly put the mold divide away and I noticed that as soon as I put it away, the, 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 the heart palpitation started to go away. But then I was like, you know what? If I'm going through a release, I need to release all of this like now. Like, I don't want to have to wait for it. Like, you know, I'm like, I'm just going to do it all now. So I went back and grabbed it. And sure enough, it came back again. And I was like, I'm going to just go through it. Let's just hang on for the ride. I know it's not a heart attack. I know, I know that I know that I know in my heart of hearts that um, this is a major release. So I stood there with the Moldavite, I laid down, and I was like, let's go through this. And so I did. And I kid you not, guys, as soon as I went through that whole so-called Moldavite heart attack, I felt so much better, okay? I don't even know how to describe this. It felt like my heart just vomited up a whole bunch of toxic, you know, just junk and gunk, that afterward it felt like I had a new heart. Like it really felt like I just, I, my heart just felt so light for the first time in like years where I just felt like I could breathe again. And 
it felt really good. Like I was like, I just released something major, right? But here's the key though. I feel like it's not over yet, right? I feel like it's not over yet. I feel like this is just the beginning of how Moldavite works. Um, I literally feel like it's not over yet, but I've overcome that first initial somewhat Moldavite heart attack, this vomiting that the heart does to literally detox yourself from, um, you know, low frequency energies that may have been stuck inside your heart. And I find this very interesting because like I said, I'm very attuned with my body. I've spent years in isolation. I've spent years getting to know who I am. And so I've come to this point of self-awareness where it's like, I know what's going on inside my body. I realize that I'm just the spirit in this body, kind of like I am this person inside this car, right? And so if I'm this person inside the car, right, I need to be aware of what's going on. You know, when I'm driving the car, okay, it might, when I hit the brakes, are the brakes hitting well? If they are, they're working well, right? What, what happens when maybe the check engine light comes on, right? I need to check that out. And so that's kind of like how I see myself in the spirit as I'm inside this body. It's like I'm inside this body, right? Just kind of being aware. Like I know I'm not the body. Like I know I'm health. Like I know I'm healthy. I know I'm pure. I know that I'm whole. And I'm just in this vehicle, literally, just as in uh, for the experience, right? I'm just in this body for the experience. And as I've been in this body, just like I've been in this car, I get to know it. Right? I get to know the body, I get to know this vehicle, so I know what it needs, I know what it doesn't need, and that's where I'm coming at from this perspective. Right, I know what I, my body needs, and as I attune myself to this energy, I know that I'll be having more of these palpitations, so to speak, where my heart is just puking out all this gunk, all this old energy, because it's now time, right? It's just now time to really release and to purify the heart and to increase the frequency of the heart and to love on a whole new level, you know, because throughout my journey, guys, I've gone through so much stuff that it's clogged up my heart, right? It's clogged up my heart spiritually, um, you know, and so I need to start cleaning that out on a spiritual level, um, clearing all that out and making sure that you know, it, it's 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 getting done. Like the Moldavite's doing its work. It's doing what it needs to do. But I want to let you guys know that maybe if you guys go through something like this, not to panic, right? Um, just realize that it's part of the process. Now, I'm not saying that maybe if you had heart issues in the past or you know you have medical conditions, and I personally don't, you know, I thank God that I don't, um, then go to a doctor, right? If that's something you need to do, go to a doctor. But like I said, I know myself enough. I've I've learned, right? God has taught me how to self, to heal myself without having to go to a doctor, you know, if anything comes up. And so uh, this is where I'm at on my journey. But I wanted to share this with you guys in case you guys maybe go through something like this later on in life or, you know, just something happens. Realize that this is part of the process, okay? And if you feel a whole lot better once you go through it, trust me you are on the right path like you are on the right path i know i'm on the right path and it's just a matter of going through now those changes and those challenges to become pure to go on a new level um to love on a whole new level which is what i really have been intuitively picking up on that this is really going to help to love on a whole new level to love unconditionally um, because you need love you need you need to learn how to love everything unconditionally and that's a challenge for all of us right i think maybe the only person who's really been able to just love unconditionally is god and jesus at all times perfectly and so i really wanted to share that with you guys um just that <clears throat> excuse me just that journey just that experience um working with moldavite and i also want to talk about maybe later on like your vocals um, I don't know about you guys, but ever since I've started working with Moldavite, my, my tone has really increased. Like the pitch of my voice has really increased. <laughs> I joke with myself. I'm like, I kind of sound like a 12 year old little boy that hasn't hit puberty yet. But, <laughs> but it's funny though. Um, I think it's funny how it's changing the sound of my voice and there's other physical changes that I'm going through as well. Since I've been working with Moldavite that I will probably be sharing with you guys later on, like you know, like my spine, um, 
my spine is starting to become more like erect. Um, and, 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 and that goes back to childhood, um, things that I, I had to deal with, with my spine and, and just things like that. But I just wanted to share that with you guys because now I believe that I'm, I'm personally moving now into physical changes now working with Moldavite where I feel it now, the impact in my body. Um, some people may call it like physical ascension, although that's, that term is very broad and very open to interpretation on what that means. But I'm personally now just saying that in my journey, I am now starting to become aware of physical changes working with Moldavite that I've kind of read online, but I'm also just kind of going at this, um, you know, head first, right? Just going through this as the experience comes and sharing this with you guys. If this is something that you guys have to go through on your journey, that way you guys know what to expect um, and know how to handle it, right? So if anything like that happens, guys, just relax. Just let it do what it needs to do. Um, you'll be fine. Um, but like I said, if you feel like you need to go to a doctor, by all means, go to a doctor. I don't like um, going to doctors just because they're just going to prescribe you some kind of medicine. And it's like, I don't want to take a medicine. I'd rather just let God help me to heal and find a way to heal all naturally. And so, guys, I really just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, I hope you guys are having a great and wonderful day. If you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, feel free to do so right now by clicking that red button somewhere over here. I think it's, yeah, over there. I don't know why. It's over there. <laughs> and don't forget to thumbs up this video as well. Share this video with someone, maybe someone that you know um, needs to hear this, right? If you guys ever feel compelled to share, share some of my videos to someone who may need to hear this, by all means, do so, guys. Um, let's spread the word. Let's spread this the Moldavite experience to more people so that they can experience this, they can keep growing on their journey, and let's just spread the love, guys. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of you who watch these videos. Um, I'm so excited to see where God's leading us through all of this and seeing it grow and seeing it expand. So thank you guys so much for joining me on this journey through the ups and the downs, guys. That's how life is, guys. I don't want to put on a front where every day is just perfect, but I know that at the end of the day, we can always choose to see how we want to see any trial and any tribulation and so i always love to see it as, a, as an opportunity to grow guys so thank you so much for joining me on these journeys on this journey guys i send you guys so much love so 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 much love from my heart to yours and i will talk to you guys very very soon